hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we would be going ahead with our wired functions so in today's video we would be working on the wire method with parameters as in the previous video i discussed about uh, the baseline of your wire function in today's video we would be uh, moving a bit further uh, in, to, uh, in today's video so let's get started with this so uh, in order to wire this i would be uh, creating a account class that would be a uh, get account data and this class would be in my uh, salesforce uh, apex classes and i would be removing the constructor in this i would be just uh, writing at the rate or enabled casual equal to true and uh, public static list of account uh, view accounts and and in here what I would be doing is return select uh, name select a uh, name from account and I would be adding a limit of uh, limit 30 limit to 30 accounts so that uh, my governor limits are not hit so this is my account class import this class into our wire method uh, so if you are confused that how these things are working uh, do check our previous video i have uh, clearly um, made understood that how things are going around so now in this i would be importing this class that uh, the method import view accounts uh, from at the rate salesforce apex uh, name of your class is get account data and the name of the method is view accounts so in here we are having something and in here what we would be doing is at the rate wire and what we do do wire view accounts and in here uh, we would be creating a method show account data this method could be any and it takes two parameters error and data if your data comes uh, then console.log first i want to check my data is coming or not data from uh, wire with params and data uh, else if error and console this as well error in uh, wire with params so so this we created and uh, okay let me deploy this source to work uh, Okay, something has happened okay this has happened because we haven't deployed this class first we have to deploy this class because this is dependent upon our JS class so that's why it was giving an error okay so let us check it in our org so guys till now we have created these many components and we should edit our page and drag and drop our lightning web component that is wire with params so throw in here and that is done so till now we haven't entered into our something into our lightning component so it, nothing would be displayed but we just want uh, see data from wire with params it is giving me id name and id name and id so our data is coming so that is perfectly fine now uh, what we want is let us uh, view this data template if true let me uh, say result and we should say this dot data is equal to result and remove the console from here okay Oh, sorry i wrote opposite this will be this dot result is equal to data 
and in my template if true or uh, template if true is equal to uh, result and for each template dot for each on result with for item is your res and in here you could use your lwc card uh, remove the extra things only uh, the lightning card only and the title would be res dot name okay so let us uh, check this out okay so sorry this would be in the curl uh, double quotes and yeah we are done and one thing more guys we have to enter a key as well i think you got tend to forget so harris dot id would be the key and remove the other things okay so our component is up and running let us check this out so guys our data is coming see our data is coming so just limiting these records to only five records I don't want more than five records and now since our data is coming what I want is I want to have a uh, searched query I want to search over these accounts and select a particular account via my search okay so first of all I have to make changes in my in this class so in this class should accept a parameter like I want to search on the basis of my name okay so uh, what should be my criteria should be string uh, string name and so what should it return is uh, if your name is empty uh, then what should it do is it should uh, return these things because since the name I haven't en entered anything uh, else what should it return uh, it should return uh, the if we have to make a uh, query so um, our query should be like select name from account where name is like and colon uh, where name is like in this uh, search of uh, where name is like your name this way so uh, what I want is uh, we want our query in this format so uh, what I would do is uh, string uh, search key is equal to plus name plus the thing so we have converted this into this and we would do a return select select name from account where your name like colon search key understood did no, we did nothing just uh, we want our name like our search string and the search string we would be passing from our uh, js name is equal to is equal to this okay so uh, what we would be doing is uh, now we would be modifying our class so we have to modify this as well so uh, now you are calling this method and in this method there is also a parameter that has been passed that is string name so if you are calling directly you would get an error so you have to pass this parameter in here so you would do this 
and in the curly braces you would write this name that is uh, in your apex class so name colon and in here uh, create a brackets and here you would write a name of your reactive property so i would be writing in here is search key okay and my search key for now is empty so just passing search key okay so now you might get confused but there is nothing to get confused because uh, data would be coming in this format only a result would be coming in this format only from here you just pass the search key now you would be thinking that from where we would be getting this search key so yeah you are thinking right what we would be doing is uh, we would be creating a lwc uh, input type so uh, type lwc input type text variant standard name should be name and label is enter uh, enter your account name okay and this is my lightning input class all should be gone into a dev and in here uh, give some padding to this div so the class is slds dash padding dash around underscore and that depends upon you medium large small so medium and in this you have to create on change handler as well and handle search and copy this go into your apex uh, sorry javascript handle search and this is passing the event and now guys in your search key uh, we have taken this search key now so you would be writing this dot search key is event dot target dot value okay and from here uh, we are getting this uh, value populated into our search key and from this it is going into this name and from this name it is calling the view accounts and view accounts is going to your apex class and from here it checks this condition okay so so let us check this uh, i have uh, deployed this class and now i would deploy this one okay so my class is successfully deployed and i uh, yeah, i just want to give this background color so i am styling background color uh, white and now i should deploy this class so uh, see guys this is your search key uh, let me give this search uh, some uh, spacing so i would be adding a class that would be i hope you have guessed right class would be slds dash margin dash around underscore and that would be medium so it would be giving margin from all the sides and that i want so go to here edit page so if you have a high speed machine uh, you won't have to edit this page time and again so let me go back and see margin has been given from all the sides so that's why uh, it is uh, uh, coming like this so you could do margin dash bottom uh, is medium and deploy so see guys margin bottom large has been given and now let us try to uh, uh, start, uh, work over this so let me do this see my account is coming edge communications grand hotels and resorts see inc if i do see pyramid constructions inc of off so where this this off is used it is coming like this so this is the uh, use of your wire methods 
uh, where uh, you could pass your parameters and from those parameters you could get your value so uh, just remember those things is uh, the syntax and this name uh, should be same as on the value that you are passing in your uh, accounts that is your uh, database class or your controller uh, class and uh, from that uh, this value gets populated or replicated in this so these values should be same and the rest the format is same nothing changes uh, you could uh, also add some delays in here uh, so as to avoid unnecessary database calls uh, this you can do and uh, uh, rest is everything okay and rest depends upon uh, you how you could uh, how you want your styling so um, our main aim was here for the functionality wise so that you could get a understanding of how things are working and that's all for today